Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. If you've been on the internet for longer than 37 seconds, you're very well aware there are a lot of gurus out there promising how to make instant riches, retire by next Tuesday, sit on the beach with a tap on a couple buttons of your laptop, drinking pina coladas, and have money falling out of the sky. Well, that's just simply not true. It's a bunch of bullshit. And I've been in this industry a long time. I got started back in Obama's first term in office back in 2010. So I have seen a lot. I fell for a lot of it too, so I'm not claiming I'm better or anything like that. But I've seen a lot, so I'm very, very jaded. So in this video, I wanna share with you three online business truths to give you the real, the raw truth of building an online business. <clears throat> There's a reason I don't have 50,000 followers on YouTube or 100,000 followers or subscribers on YouTube because a lot of times I talk about it taking hard work, it taking patience, it taking time, it taking discipline, it taking focus, it taking commitment, perseverance, things that people don't want to hear. The channels typically with a lot of viewers typically are selling the easy path or passive income the complete bullshit. I'm not going to get into the passive income bullshit. But anyways, number one online truth, it takes time. There are people that have commented on my YouTube and or TikTok videos and they're looking to make money fast. And typically when they say fast, they mean I have to pay rent by five o'clock today, <laughs> which typically they're shit out of luck if they have to pay rent by five o'clock today. I tell them the same thing every time. I say either start flipping items, that's the fastest way to make money online that I'm aware of, but if they are in dire situation and they need to earn money, I tell them to get a job. Like if they're family or if they even don't have family and they have to earn money really fast, I tell them to go out and get a job. Building an online business when you don't have any money, not to say it hasn't happened before, there's people, there's stories out there, you hear them all the time on the webinars. However, those are the unicorns. They're very, very rare that you're gonna find someone that it's flat broke, doesn't have any money, and somehow turned it around in let's say 30 days and started earning $10,000 a month. That's a unicorn, that's neat on a haystack, it's not likely, it's possible, yes, but is it likely? Absolutely not. So it takes time. I also have been, uh, the last month or so, I've been really hitting hard on commit to a specific group of people, your target market, your audience. You wanna help them, serve them, guide them, lead them, motivate them, inspire them, teach them, support them for the next two plus years. That's the mindset I want you to have is focus on a specific group of people that you can help. My group of people is dadpreneurs. That's why in every YouTube video I say, hey dadpreneurs, at the channel banner up top, you'll see dadpreneur freedom. That is my target market. That's who I'm committed to serving, to helping, to inspiring, to motivating, to guiding, to teaching, to virtual, giving them virtual ass kicks when they need it. And I'm focused on that for the next two years. I've been focused on it for a while, but that's the mindset I want you to have the next two plus years that audience and when I tell people that one-on-one -on -one, like if we're DMing maybe on Facebook or Instagram and I tell them that <laughs> usually I, I very rarely heard back from them they don't want two years they're looking for 30 days to be a millionaire and it's just not that likely so truth number one is it takes time the next thing is it takes focus and I talk about this all the time Steve Jobs Warren Buffett Bill Gates all three of them said their secret to success 
was focus. I just shared a picture the other day. I was at in and out I went down to Sedona, Arizona for my 40th birthday, and we were in uh, the drive through at in and out And in and out has a menu. I'll flash it up on the screen. Their menu, if you've been there before, they sell hamburgers, they sell shakes, and they sell french fries. That's what they focus on, just those three things. They don't have Happy Meals. They don't have chicken fingers. They don't have salads. They don't have desserts. They don't have all that other stuff. They focus on three things. Their menu, <laughs> well, on the drive-thru, obviously, it's a little bit bigger, but their menu is so clean because they focus on just a couple of things. So that's what I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on one target market or one audience. Same thing. A target audience, a specific group of people that you're committed to helping, serving, guiding, leading, inspiring, all that stuff that I just shared. Uh, I want you to focus on one funnel. One funnel, not seven funnels, not 20 funnels, not 13 funnels. I want you to focus on one funnel. You're gonna drive all your traffic to one landing page to collect leads. And then I want you to focus on one platform. That's either gonna be a blog, a podcast or a YouTube channel. This one of those three things, written word, audio, and or video. This is where you're gonna be producing content again for the next two plus years. Now again, I like to call that a content channel. You can also have a communication channel, which would be a social media channel. And contrary to popular belief, you don't have to have a social media channel to be successful online. I got a couple of guys that I follow online that I respect, that I look up to here on the internet, and a lot of them, or so, I shouldn't say a lot of them, some of them are not on social media at all, and they have thriving businesses. So you don't need a social media channel. However, if you do wanna get on social media, I recommend one social media channel. So a blog, a podcast, or YouTube channel, and then Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, one of those social media channels. And if I missed a couple, I probably did. One social media channel. That's it. So one market, one audience, one funnel, one platform to distribute content, or, or uh, publish content, and then one channel to distribute content, which would be the social media channel. Uh, the third truth is it takes discipline. This is a big one, and I really think this is the s secret that so many people are struggling with. I can't remember the stats with uh, obesity in America. I think it's 40% or 60%. It's a shit ton of people. I think it is 60%. It's over half the country is obese or overweight. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, and I think it's like 70% of people uh, live paycheck to paycheck or are broke. That has nothing to do with business, obviously. Discipline would solve both of those problems for the m most part. I know some overweight people have medical things like that, but for the majority of people that are overweight or obese and the people that are living paycheck to paycheck, they lack discipline. And same with online business, people lack discipline. Again, they, they, they're, they can't do the instant gratification uh, or they have instant gratification. They cannot turn that off. They don't have, they lack the patience, like I said, with the time thing, then they don't have the discipline. So what happens is, is they, they buy a course, let's say, or they went on a webinar or buy an ebook or training or something like that. They start working on it for typically it's only a couple of weeks. They don't get the results that were promised or that were advertised. And then all of a sudden they see an, uh, another course or ebook or webinar or training over here. And this guru is promising something easier, something faster, something simpler. So what they do is they jump over here. They start working that one for a couple of weeks. And then what happens? A couple weeks later, there's another guru over here, and it's just a big, they're just jumping all around, and it's different business models, different styles, different, different, all kinds of things, and they're just running in a big circle. I know because I did it for years. So you have to have the discipline to stick with a specific market. And what I find is when you pick a market that you have a passion for, that you truly want to help, you truly want to serve, you, you get a fire in your belly that that's the market you want to serve. It makes it much harder to jump from business idea to business idea to business idea when you have that specific market. So again, focus on that specific market. And then uh, the discipline thing, it takes work. It takes the, I have a t-shirt that says do the work. And sometimes it can get monotonous. I publish two YouTube videos each and every day. I've been doing it since July 1st of 2019. Some days I don't want to do YouTube videos. Some days I don't want to record a podcast. Some days I don't want to record TikTok videos, but I do it. I do it anyways. And that's the thing is putting in the work day after day after day. It can get monotonous. It can get, sometimes it can get boring that you don't want to do it. So that's another part. It takes discipline of showing up each and every day, putting in the work over and over and over, getting in the getting the reps in, just like anything else. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan. I forgot Michael Jordan used to shoot 500 or 1,000 shots every single day, free throws, all kinds of things, every single day. 
Like, how boring is that? Shooting 500 basketballs a day, 1,000 basketballs. I don't care if you love basketball. Over time, you're going to get bored with that. However, Michael Jordan was the best basketball player of all time. So he put in the work, the work that you don't see on the TV. Uh, next one, I got some uh, notes here. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is keep it simple. I'm a big fan of simplicity. Steve Jobs talked about it too. And I think I've seen so many memes over the years of him keeping it simple. And I came across this post. I just happened to come across it yesterday. And it was from Facebook. Facebook from a guy that I followed for years, a, a kind of a business mentor of mine, just through his knowledge. I don't know him. We've talked a little bit through DM and all that. But this came up in my memories yesterday. And for years, I printed it out and I had it here on my monitor. And over the years, the piece of paper just kind of got wore out. But as you can see, I'll flash it up on the screen. It's from June 15th of 2015. And he says, every day, send out something that will make you money. Make an offer. Email, direct mail, etc. Number two, drive traffic to generate leads. Paid media, Facebook ads, blog, podcast, etc. Number three, this might be the most, imp I don't want to say most important, but this one's an important one and what people forget. Be consistent in who you are in communication with your new prospects and old clients every day. Do this in social media, podcast, etc. Repeat, don't make this shit hard. It, it's really this simple. You'll refine and learn as you grow. But until you start doing, you'll be stuck in nowhere, and that's a shitty place to be. Dexter Abraham is a very wise man. I recommend you follow him over on the Facebooks. As you can see, he just uses a cartoon character. I don't know what he looks like. It turns out he lives just up the street about 10 miles from my house. We, like I said, I've never met or anything. But that's what it takes, sending out, putting out a piece of content, making offers, and then consistently communicating with your audience, whether they are buyers and or leads of your audience. So keeping things simple, and that's why I love System.io and I talked about that on uh, the video prior to this, yesterday's video, was keeping the system dialed, how they won me over was with its simplicity. And once you get started playing around with it, and if you're used to other funnel builders, it's going to be an absolute breeze of how simple things are to, to navigate the UI, the, 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 the design on the back end. It's just really, really simple. You can get to anywhere with just a couple clicks of the button. With Kartra, you'd have to click through 8, 10, 12 different steps just to exit out of that phase. It's hard to kind of explain, but with uh, system, you can access anything you want with just a click up, a click or two of the mouse. I won't say one click for everything, but it's really cool because they have the navigation up top and you can just navigate. So that is one, the biggest reason I like system is the simplicity of it. So keep your business simple. Use system.io. It's simple to use like I've talked about many times. And throughout the next 25 videos, I'm going to hammer that point home, the simplicity of it, because that's my favorite feature of that of that software. And one last thing I want to touch on, this is a strategy that Miles Beckler came up with, a guy that I follow on YouTube. If you're not following him, he is one of my favorite YouTubers, favorite marketers. He's technically a competitor of mine. I'm not scared to share him with you or, or recommend him. I just like his style, his no bullshit style. The guy puts in work and he puts out a ton of value over on his YouTube channel. But he has this strategy called the ATM strategy. And it stands for audience, trust, monetization and it works in that order you have to build an audience first you build up your audience by putting out content a blog a podcast or a youtube channel or even social media you build up your audience over time putting out continuously putting out more content get them on your email list somehow some way uh, you start building a relationship with them you start building that t that trust with them and then the third and final step is monetization now you're going to sell them a course a training an ebook a masterclass a webinar coaching consulting masterminds retreats whatever it is but it has to be in that order audience uh, <laughs> audience trust monetization ATM I love that acronym it's a perfect acronym that we all are familiar with but it's, it's true you have to do it number one number two number three most people just jump into the monetization and they think it's kind of like the field of dreams with Kevin Costner if you build it they will come that's not what that's not what it's about if you put out an ebook or a lot of people think if they just release a uh, information product a digital course a, a, a digital anything that people will just come that you can't do it that way you have to build up your audience over time you build up their trust and then 
then you can monetize it. So follow Miles' strategy, the ATM, build up your audience with your content, uh, build up the trust with your email list, and then you can start monetizing it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the training. And make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification because like I said, I got 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software, but how to use it in your business. And I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing, email automation, email marketing, building funnels, all types of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system.io, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Like I said, you get access to $598 worth of bonuses that's no cost to you. They're completely free. It'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Looking forward to putting out to this training series, hoping it helps you grow your business quickly.